Так, отже, милам ги там. Там милам ги там ги на лоне, так, за ранжу. Семджин кадин чинбо имба там. Семджин кадин чинбо имба тинкин ки. А не там ба ти? А не семджин кадин чинбо. Сунг ба ти ла ти не. Санге ла я. А не там ба че там. Тене ди че су та. Семджин си не ти. Ранжу ги дева дан дунге. Там че юнг за ги си ре ша. А не ла ба до ян дунге. Ги юнг ду си ду чан бе я. Ранжу сам лот нан джо еш джабжи дунге ди ане че го ко кашо жангцу туба коран коран ген 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 дус мев джи ян ко тесу тюн джун джи ги тюр ни ян сам лот че тан джи че ги кду ли я че ги кагу ё ле де ян де че ги ма зоне галя джи джи джаб ян пен джи джи че ги тон джи джан бе ян ко джене лам до лам ба себа на шин че ги ян ко Kerja saya tidak tenje, simjengi cula tebe kanya tebe tene, tilun dongleng saya bela tene, yang ko mixegi cik curi musum ala saba da saba gombal saba la saba ni, sanji ju kawan terba cebe gi ni, ju cobi caru tu, dah indu sampai simjeng le ngui shu ju sungai guane, ane lama dan tebe kerinci. Do son che ta tanta che sanno giù a Beijing, solo che ci si chiama le diore. So, uh, just to sort of recap, uh, oh, uh, of, uh, yesterday's, the first, uh, we first, we've reached verse number 11 in the uh, Nagarjuna's The Dream Tale, the text The Dream Tale. And just to sort of recap a few of the main points that we discussed uh in relation to the text yesterday so um we're we, there's a discussion about uh, uh the reasons why we should have gratitude to or feel feel gratitude towards the sentient beings and then also uh, a sense of feeling gratitude towards the buddha who is the one who pointed out uh, this uh, situation and so we also um So therefore, in that sense, there's also a, 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 then a way in which we uh, take our refuge in, in the Buddha who pointed out the, uh, this, the situation of the sentient beings and the, and, the, and the reasons why we should feel gratitude towards them. Um, and, uh, uh, and sort of understanding also that uh, the sentient beings are a kind of base or uh, yeah, a kind of base for um, all of our uh, the things that happen to us whether those are uh, things of suffering or those are things of uh, pleasure and happiness and so but also in terms of uh, the suffering uh, both of the suffering of the sentient beings and also the suffering that accrues to us through our actions there's all it also a little bit discussion about how to realize existing by its own side so when we also um bring in the contemplation uh, of dependent origination um and and then see uh that that aspect of them then it makes uh uh it helps us to understand things from a different side although it's very hard to do in the moment or or, or very quickly by making effort to kind of acc acculturate ourselves to that way of thinking then slowly we are able to um, take on, uh, take the sufferings, uh, take to transforming the sufferings into the path and then to de uh, develop uh, the practices as such as generosity and so forth to express our gratitude. А когда уже пусон соба сидит там бе, да чеки, а че, да дириша карсоре, да ранги, на чеки, миюру чеки, а вина, да тенду пенду а чеки мы чуби а чеки, а не тендеги, а не, а пусон соба ген, не ли я, где он тут там бе, уже пусон соба сая чек шане дыдуа, тене суд зеба сидит там бе, янко суд зеба ти, Da ci sono già bastati i due anni, 
tondu kurane ci na ro shudu se ci ge yon shuru de ina yan to su ze ba yan shudu ka lu se du sana diniam do debe ka bla ya ani song shin ki ko gi chelam song je til de ne ani pi gi su di ma ju ima ju di de do su di ci wo ke ci ma she bi ci su sa ji ne wa le be su ra ba de ci wo ke ci ma she bi ci ani su te la de ci ani pung bul ha ma ko gi chwa ka de ci yo me ko we kurang ge du she ka de ci yo me la so be de zo chang ma lo ani su di ton de ne ani yi do wa ji ton de ci be mi ya ko shi bi ci tu ba mi na on ro ko shi bi ci tu ba mi yi do wa de re do ma do ya su un ze ba si de ci me ci ge anji ge na kar sam ra cha ko ji bo de ni ke je ko ji su ma re ze ma da zang ma se na shi de ani ce re wa a ce re wa ji chung ba yi na ya sim je le ya ji ge kar so re e ta zu de ji ba ji ba ta ya de a kar so re a ce ce re wa le ya ta ko so lu ta so lu ta ya lo so ba ta And Terry, my yard, should the cardinals and the young Pajon with the Kanye, she would you have been a seminar, Kanye, she would you have been a chin bean, a young Tilia, Robachavina, Mangra Tilia, young Tian, or Terry Mutria. Won't you see you some bail? Don't want, won't you see you some bail? One lunch and which have a kitchen with some Mayimba. Piggy, Chiggy, Rangshingi, me Pajon, or the same, and eh. Lopa, Sem Marungi chosen, Robe Gabaya, and a tea cogi yard and do a nigger nanone, do a do a baratria jida, yard the yard to one or chevina, uncle wants one chutas. The jiggy, Milch and Pantocheva tea, del tene, young so sole yard, the jiggy around top to ya. The new nola saw dance, tala so which carries. Inji ke ma sun you name it se asu bichre to ba. Chiran ji lapsho ta ya chang ma lo ta simjan ne den ma chung bichi ge yu. Ani chung ma be ba se du chan be yang ko mixe ki ka so re. Chiran ga san ta ji zo ka wal do ne ya ka nyen do ti mi ye ji zo na ka nyen ti. Ani den ro ya ko ji ko do se bo ji. Ya den ro ki den be yang ko se ma ji shu cha yu yu. Chiran ga wo den ro ki den ro ya ko yu ya de ya ani sam do ji tan bi na ko ju de jen ji le den yo de rang ge tan bo tan sha ya ko ya sha che dan che de le yi na ya ji ge tele ba be so so le ya pa do chi ni le yu zhe an ye ke ji ge tan de ji ge ya ko ma chung ba de yan sam ba ya wo tan bi na ma ru so so ge de lo yam la so be ni ji ge mo ru bi ge che ba de zu che ba de ni an so so ma de bi ji ge ya robot tu yang itu dia sih, cakap orang tak dia le teng je, ini aju mistake le teng ni, ini ko dia kerja dalam kerja sebab nasi je, ini setakat orang dia, kan tu jitu je, ini beli ya, kau kau makan apa? Yang dua tu boleh, dia tu jual macam tu semua. Assalamualaikum, Syekh Bakri Sparo, khadis. So verse number eleven. Uh, which reads, being free of disease, of an excellent caste, um, handsome, rich, powerful, and having a long life, wealth, and so on, and a special spouse, are the result of benefiting sentient beings. So this sort of describes, um, in some in some way, we can sort of uh, dis describe uh, how uh, the the benefit that accrue to us um from pra from the engaging in practices such as the you know the six perfections and the and the, uh, the paths of the body bodhisattva practices and um uh so it's not just uh so we have to sort of think of these uh, you know obviously there are all things which uh, uh everybody uh desires for instance um uh um when uh, being free of disease is quite understandable uh is, but then saying of an excellent caste so that doesn't just mean being born in a kind of prominent position in the society uh but also perhaps uh, excellent caste in the sense of uh, someone who's born uh in a place with excellent kind of uh, conditions and resources as well so that's understanding it in that way uh when we talk about 
handsome or zugzeber in which uh, attractive uh, physical form um handsome or beautiful then we shouldn't just understand think of this and understand this in a way of just uh being a kind of physically pleasurable to behold um you know just pure beauty or being purely beautiful or handsome but the best way to think about this is um on beholding uh so, uh, thinking of this kind of handsome or beautiful as as on beholding of that uh person's body that they uh kind of encourage us uh, in in a kind of the best uh not just the physical sense but in even in, to, in and not just in thinking of the contaminated kind of physical aggregates that are there but in the all of the ways that all of their aggregates and the uh the ways that they think the kind of discriminations they have um uh, that they encourage the best uh, possible practices in others who behold them so a kind of uh the positive sense in which uh encountering that other person we it encourages us uh to be um you know you know to be better a sort of uh medicine for us to, uh, not a, yeah a kind of nurturing of us to 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 be better ju not just the kind of physical uh beauty um um rich and uh rich of its uh, um uh, and also actually um uh, here it's uh, then it says uh, rich powerful and having a long life um so when it talks about the long life uh then long life is a sort of result of uh perform you know doing certain things and i think uh for instance an example of that which would help us uh to create our long life was for instance if um we know people who ha have mental uh problems and uh, helping them to remedy those mental problems and to overcome their anxiety that kind of thing also helps to lead us to long life in terms of power we shouldn't think of it as just uh power in the ordinary sense in a, a natural uh a natural way but in the in this in the, uh, we think of people of power in the society but we should think of them as having a kind of courage um a strength and courage within them um and also the power for them uh, so lacking in fear and having courage uh confidence but also ha having the power and therefore gaining a kind of independence for them to know what is the things which are good and positive to know the things which are bad or negative and to be able to operate away from the negative and within the positive so a kind of sense in which you are empowered uh, to become independent because of that uh and wealth uh uh is more you know that sort of in in the general sense but also as rimshi said uh, you name it everything that uh anyone could ever want uh and then in terms of this the special spouse um in the society this uh, uh particularly you'll find that uh interpersonal relationships between uh couples uh they tend to cause um uh, there tends to be one of the greatest sources of uh, difficulty and conflict within the society and uh the uh, causes and there the and there are many causes and conditions to this so how uh, the causes which would be put in place to create the result of a special spouse would be things like being completely honest um to one's own uh partner and uh if uh if difficulties were to arise within our um relationship then we should we should understand that those uh difficulties arise from causes and conditions which we ourselves perform uh such as uh uh being unfaithful and um we should be honest and uh wish only to benefit them あ、
Yeah, So essentially, verse number 12, which reads, uh, through, fond, being, through being fond of sentient beings, one will attain kingdoms, great kingdoms, perfect kingdoms of the sublime wheel turner and the dominions of power. So this seems to be a, a sort of a piece of advice which is encouraging us to uh, sort of be, become like royalty, uh, a king or a queen or a, 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 and, and of course, uh, kingdoms uh, here being used perhaps in the modern context to in, in include per, uh, political uh, power and as we know very well in uh, countries such as israel and in uh, india and and, and and all countries really there are many different uh, situ political situations uh, one thing to point out here is that without sort of to some extent wealth but in in, in certainly in terms of having power it's very difficult to, in some sense, there's nothing wrong uh, with having power. That if you uh, you can without power, it's very difficult uh, to protect others, and uh, you need it in, in, in to to really get uh, things done, to really help uh, beings in the kind of secular context. You, you 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 to some extent you have to have some kind of power in order to be effective. Um, and what we should really try to avoid is that kind of complaining way in which we uh, can't just think, oh, this is no good and that person's no good and this per this politician is like this and corrupt or like this. We can't um, uh, just think of that. There, there, there are all kinds of cause just pointing the finger out there to all of these other people because these things arise um, from causes and conditions and uh, uh, and and we see these examples it's kind of like the normal way um throughout the world but perhaps what we should do is um thinking perhaps about one's own country and uh uh and having that kind a kind of courage that really wishes uh, to be able to help uh to be to be able to uh, be, be be able to help in some way in these situations, not just kind of pointing the finger at others without any sense of responsibility. So, of course, if uh, if if we don't believe in past and future lives, maybe that's a little bit difficult to in this current life to. But we, if we did believe uh, in past and future lives, maybe also we could think in that sense that oh, instead of complaining and pointing the finger at others all the time about their bad or good behavior, we should. Uh, almost make like a prayer that we would uh, be born in these situations where we would have, have be completely honest, uh, where we would be completely pure of mind and be able to sort of uh, re uh, reveal and uh, reveal the path of truth and uh, kind of honesty and uh, purity 
um, in sort of engaging those positions of power uh, with those kind of motivations. Um, and of course, in the process, you, you would uh, uh, meet all kinds of individuals, uh, all kinds of sentient, uh, all kinds of individuals. Some, of course, would be uh, positive and good. Some would also be not a good character, but still also having that kind of courage to uh, take on and be able to, in whatever situation, to be able to uh, work for the honestly for the welfare of others, uh, for the welfare of you know, like the citizens or. Uh, or, or the subjects, if it was a, a kingdom. להראות להם את הדרך החיובית, את הדרך הטובה. לא תהיה לי את היכולת בצורה אמיתית, בצורה נכונה, להיות לתועלת לאחרים. זה סוג, ה... זו, זו סוג העוצמה, הנחישות, ה... 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 האומץ, זה סוג האומץ שאנחנו מטפחים כשאנחנו חושבים על בית מספר 12, בזכות, בזכות חיבה לבעלי התודעה, יזכו שליטה בממלכות וכולי, סמכות ועוצמה להשפיע על אחרים בצורה חיובית. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Simjing Amjajun <laughs> Chuna, some the Tinjig Molam de Chetun Tati, uh, Jimji, uh, Molam Nalone, Molam Kishu, Zigoya, son of Chit Lavjet Tiondwa. Ah, Pemba Chevy, Sandy Coban, young and top jula, Kanshi Ningu me, and Member Hada. Anna Tinjigi, any chicken town, that did has it so in a ransom. Ya watch some of the town be in a never Tajig, Never came made in some property. Could the Jurid between me do that only some of the Gumbulus on the Jiggy Anzola Seal and Dozambe. Anzoli had now no poor salad zoo, didn't they care your mare day? Young Anzol Tenche Sim Gayata, Anzola Tenche, any coach and Jew Sim Gayalos over the Jiggy Tenche on Dozambe. Gumbulia, now the Pinigi made the Tarche in, and then Anzot of the Juma de Tarche in Sodu. And so reading through verse number 13, through benefiting sentient beings, one also attains the state of a Buddha. What is so marvelous about someone attaining the insignificant state? Uh, 
of uh, or the state of es lacking in any kind of essence or central meaning of an inferior celestial being. Uh, and so um, this is really a sort of a, a advice containing a, a great, uh, great, greatly beneficial advice to us um, uh, on the basis uh, in, in relation, coming into relation with the other sentient beings. It allows us to develop uh, uh, the mind which wishes uh, to benefit and uh, help in the happiness of those others, of others, ra others rather than ourselves, and also helps in uh, and and then the the further development of that uh, the the wish uh, the, the the awakening mind the bodhicitta which wishes to which really feels that it's not okay if I don't attain enlightenment in or order to in order to be of the maximum benefit for the sentient beings so uh, there's this sense of we should have you know so, so that we see the sentient beings as being uh, very beneficial towards us that the sentient beings uh, through them we are able to attain the state of uh, buddha as it says in the first uh, in the first two lines um, um, and so that's uh, so there um and and so also what we um uh we should also uh and then in the second lines uh, the second uh, the third and fourth lines where it says what is so marvelous about someone attaining the insig insignificant or essenceless state of an inferior celestial being so here um it's sort of you know thinking in those terms of like being born as a kind of god or something like this in, in Tibetan, it's la, men be la, low, inferior gods. Um, then we should um, more, uh, so we should think about this more in terms of, of of wishing to, making a prayer to be born or in a in a in a good what we call den sambo, a good basis, a uh, a good kind of place of birth, um, which um, uh, is has uh, conditions where we're able to. Um, uh benefit the sentient beings so so the, this this becomes like this this should be become more like a uh, instead of there's nothing marvelous about attaining this state of these kind of sentient being but we should uh think of a um like for instance being born in a perfect human form but it doesn't have to be a perfect uh, you know the uh, human form endowed with all the qualities for practice uh, but it can also be you know, other forms of existence uh and so the prayer becomes that may I be born where, wherever I'm born, whether it's in the human realm or the God realm, wherever I can be, or, or other realms, may I be of the maximum benefit to the sentient beings. And this becomes our most important prayer. Um, another way also to think about here, the celestial, um, the mar uh, the uh, the marvels and then and marvel being mar feeling the, uh, the marvels of the celestial life, is to think of the celestial as being a kind of potentiality, uh, having an amazing uh, potentiality. So, th so, and um, that, and so, how that that potentiality to be able to benefit other sentient beings. So, you know, when we talk about magic and uh, magicians being able to produce produce kind of illusions or uh, ma magical tricks. And often we're we're carried we're carried away by them. We're amazed and and stunned by uh, these magical tricks. But um, if in if we in this body and this life we were able to uh, develop these marvelous states, such as the wish, the mind wishing to benefit others, and then obviously the mind, uh, the awakening mind wishing to attain enlightenment for all beings. Then, if you sat Nagarjuna down and said to him, uh, "Which, wh what would be, so, which would, which out of these two, which would be so marvelous?" Then Nagarjuna would immediately say, "The cultivation of the awakening mind." Um, 
and don't want you to touch him with this, JJ Lab. In a young, same chance touch him with this, JJ Sam Nalone, some to women do, a kind of jiggle lava in a young, and a Sam Nalola, Tikande, some tadding to us. The Karinas, she would be Gangorangi Gidruz or Gandidang to us. Jesanga de Gang Kudu will end Kadu Gamas on the summer time in Shana Sha. Jesanga. Tadigi Mare some Zuru do, some down you do. Kanji di Maranzo num tangi na lolia Menamin Jungi Java Sechur. Judy Mena dribbled the Tawan in the Yungumars, Jan and Jatam, but Taju Chebina. Anni dribbled the lacazus, she can dub a chair, you have in a Tezugi in a Judelia, Kale. Jagure dele ya thong jigre. Bena kangba zibu shibuji jagui insla re kangba di be sem na lo le cha shi zibu shibuji che. Ane drosong chun chun jumadu madana kangba di reg maruba piu ta wo di chag maruba. Che zang kangba mong bo piu ta wo shibuji jagui insla du be tele ba be drosong di jig jig kurub che ya re kalle jagui re. Tuzo samanga tering kalle shibuji kasu sigik mar su yin sigik mar. Che zang wo di karig jawa shingu arsla du chen be. Men and Minjung and Java, the Shuji Savish. Oh, Titan, Aunt Julia, Dimebe Lambert, Chesanka, Changuki Sem Kadu Tachambres, Labadan, Top Degan, and Yellow Sumberchi, Kanema Labadan, Lamsang, and the Juje, the Karsin Tachambres, Lana, Changusim Tachambuchet, Semjan Tachet Arbas, the Lane Jap to which Mazusta, Sogueti, Uncle Negachambrus. Uh, so then uh, like reading spell, through like verse number 14, where it says, if those sentient beings did not exist, with whom could one be generous? If living beings did not exist, on what basis could one achieve the morality of the Vinaya? So this is then talking about um, uh, the relationship with the sentient beings and, and our own practice of um, the first two perfections of generosity and ethical discipline, and ethical conduct. Um, uh, so I was, uh, as I mentioned before, I've been listening to Geshe Tumpelsang's uh, audio teachings on on this text. Um, and he, uh, at one point during the teaching, he asked uh, his students to, uh, to, what you know, we always the Buddhist people always value, have feel, you know, bodhicitta so wonderful, fantastic, compassion really wonderful, emptiness oh very important, wonderful. Uh, all of these things we think are so great, but really very few people really think, oh, how wonderful and how, how great, how in, important and the great importance of uh, sentient beings. I mean, we may say these words from our mouth, but I think really left inside, there's still really a feeling left over that, uh, that, that doesn't uh, really believe in that or doesn't accept that, so to speak. Um, so why... Is it that we um, don't feel that way? Why do we feel that bodhicitta and emptiness and compassion are so important, yet we don't somehow place value on the sentient beings? And um, uh, in uh, the kind of pramana uh, system of logic and epistemology, there's a, a discussion of a relationships, generally, uh, generally a relationship between cause and effect. And uh, the sense in which, if the if a particular thing does not exist, uh, then its related uh, result will never arise. So it's called mena mena wrong we draw. So that if the if something doesn't exist, the other thing is not is not possible. And so uh, this is primarily um, related to causal causal situations. So if the result. Uh, if the cause, if the causes for a particular result to arise are never in place, then the result will never arise. So just as a simple example, if you have a plan for to build an, an, an enormous mansion, uh, but then only allocate a small, uh, a, a small amount of expenses uh, in order to do uh, to 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 complete that uh, the construction of that mansion, then uh, the of, of course, you can see that it's very obvious to all of us that we can see very quickly this kind of laughable situation of um, 
uh, wishing to, so, so this sense in which we often wish for, there's a desired result, but uh, uh, we're, whether we're striving in the, the causes and conditions which will uh, complete that result, achieve that result. So we shouldn't be stupid in these ways. We shouldn't think about these in an, uh, an, in an unconstructive way. Um, and so why, when we say bodhicitta is great, why don't we also say that sentient beings are even greater since there is a kind of causal relationship? ケテルジェナニメジュナカンレティベツルムトバジュスアノアジュタンタチキエチンバタンワダンツルムソマダドゾサマロアニサンジェルテニトビアレドワディセムジェルテニトビアレドワシュサダサンジェザニシュエヨ
on patients with who's who with those who commit a fault for the sake of whom does what one diligently work to achieve his deepest uh, desired objective attainment so this is all in relation to uh, the sentient beings so um so all of the practices of, uh, uh, of accumulating merit and doing practices such as generosity and um, uh, practice and here practicing patience and also uh, uh, um, joyous effort, the diligence here is that some do is a joyous effort, uh, um, then they're all practiced in relation to uh, 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 sentient beings. And uh, uh, the, uh, so then uh, uh, Rimshu was talking about how um, uh, uh, sort of making great effort and then um, uh, so I don't know if this is a sort of uh, the, the way that the sort of mind works and the way our physical body works I don't know something like that but if we um, go you know people that go to like um, dance clubs and really sort of uh, almost like go crazy, really put put everything into it, They're like really sort of dancing like uh, full and crazy. And yet, um, do we, uh, you know, but uh, for us in terms of sitting down and uh, doing our uh, meditation practice and engaging in these practices, do we uh, put so much uh, diligence into our deeply, uh, deeply desired object? So I think that's a, a question to ask ourselves. Yeah. This pity sometimes works. So once you have a strong motivation to do something, and then the energy that you are looking for is kind of a slipping inside you, and then you really want to awake this. So then you really know what to awake, not the <laughs> the naughty ones, the really uh, the inspirational uh, the. The energy that what we are talking here is awaking the bodhicitta. For that, uh, what I just said is something not new. Uh, if you look at the practice of Je, remember many, many people might have the Damaru's in your house. <laughs> so all this, and then during the time of practice of Je and other tantric practices, some kind of, some in the, during the meditation, you have to say some kind of words, so syllables very loudly. So this is actually for this kind of practice. And here also the Hindi is already there when it says, uh, uh, so this is just the last, uh, uh, the last piece of, uh, uh, from the last lines of 15, where it says, for the sake of whom does he diligently work to achieve his deeply desired object of attainment? Uh, so it really, it uses a, uh, a double syllable. In, in the Tibetan language, it uses a double, double syllable. Uh, and it sort of emphasizes um, the, this, this verse. So for the sake of whom does he diligently work to really put in that effort? Why, why don't you uh, really put in that? To, de, uh, why do they really put in that diligent effort for the sake of attaining their desired object? Mm Something 
Kedi ani dindiji simjen sini de mebe yina nga ani simjen tamje le dembe eh nyumju se yata ani dinge jin sumbo komya kona mebe chagro bas che tanga an di chunju chi to da chunju to chi to da chimbu ji cha ji to da chunju ji gro ani koro ko de di chin go ko de yin sun to chi tanda de da be gun ne tane be taye ba ani ji la ba do dindi samata ya do um che zanga tanda ja o kunri ta di dan jawa cha di yo re ja o kunri tang bu de ani be lama sam ji mi ja wa ta jero bi chi ngo lo re ani de ni zan be kon lo ta be jin tu ju re dang chi le pe be ka ble ya ta ti du tu ju su de chim bu yin sa re te de tu wa la ngo zu chim bu ke zi ma ro ba ta kon lo tu ju se u da zu ka bu cha ni lo ma ma ku sta yu de zan be lo ma de zu ta kon ge nyam nen da on kongi kongbo xia dang dang de zu xi bi yu de zan be ta chang de zhu bu ri si ta ji bu ri si ta ji gu ma wan ba le ya chang chang bu ri ji yin bu yin na ya xin bu chun ni xie gu ma le chang ta pe te xin ni ji yu ba si na song de zan be lam song ni bi kun jin tang bu de xi ri si ni de yu shen ma le be tu zhu bu nang xiu ni de song ba dang be ni xie ri de xi ri si cha che ni mi zi na lo la si ni mi zi na lo la si ani ngai chi ta xi ni ji wo shi na ngai ma lam ji gu mi shi ji ma nyong shi che zhang ga ni ge shen jin kao le ya ni pan duo jue bi yi na yang ta ra na ngai ji wo shi wo shi ni mi ma da bo le shi ma lam di yi shi di ma du chi ge ngai ta xi ni ji shi ma lam ji gu mi shi ni bi shi ri shi yu cha wo le shi di na ma ta na lu yu shi di na xin chi chi ta 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 di yang wo ni chen ju gu shi ni zha chen bu din ri chi semje tamje ge ton do na ji moro nyan be ge lo nin de ge semba tembo suya te karil de ni chongso sulana ani semje da semje se do be cham cham semje tamje se do tembe be kan de zo gom guru se ge je yor ta je zo semje tamje se do ji be ta de na lo le be chogan na lo le semje tamje chue go yo ma lo da semje gom se do tembe be na semje de so so ge eh tanda da ne parmas de sum chik dinal madu bo yo mata de anal habar do ta kanye che che sho de tadre ndrade la nin che ne trase du shi bu chik di che ko mi du wa ko ning je je re du wa ko le ko din de du wa ne ne li be ko din de pi na du sa me ta ne de ni din na yang de la cha ko che che rin ze ke mi du yang dia sama tang ya ane parma dinge ngo ma shi ma zong shi ma do ko ne ko re ma do ko dan jawa den den ji cha de sha sam le du sam lo ji ja chim bu ji ko yang bo te ko rong du zhen be a shi bi tam ji le ba mi bo ju do sara ba xian an zui di san zam che ya de ko shi bi tam ji sam lo ko ma tu ye de ga ya di ta di sum di le du wa o de zu sam lo tang tu be yi na yang pian do yu shi re Uh, so, um, uh, and then, uh, in terms of um, uh, in verse 16, where it talks about if living beings did not exist, how would one, by correctly depending on love, compassion, joy, and equanimity, attain the bliss of meditative absorption? Uh, and so, here it talks about, uh, particularly, uh, I want to focus here on this. Uh, if this living beings didn't exist, uh, uh, dep depending on the four immeasurables, uh, then attain the bliss of meditative absorption, or, you know, sometimes we talk about what are called the equilibriums, uh, something, and then, uh, so it's not something, so the, you know, shamatha, concentration, and then also we talk about uh, high, ref very refined states of concentration called the equilibriums, and sort of, uh, uh, developing the practice where we try to uh, s stop the mind from being to quiesce the mind to stop it from being uh, distracted and disturbed um uh but uh what uh the but if we, if that's just done purely for the purpose of uh, developing the bliss of meditative absorption then it's not really uh so valuable to us uh but we should really think uh, the 
that on the basis of the sentient beings, um, we develop uh, 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 the bliss of uh, these meditative absorptions or uh, equilibriums where um, concentrations and equilibriums where we are uh, focused on taking the sentient beings as a basis and uh, uh, to, uh, using that to develop a very strong, uh, a strong, stable uh state of bodhicitta which again thinks that i it's really not okay if i if i i don't uh very swiftly attain the fully enlightened state to work for the welfare of all sentient beings and then that kind of uh meditative absorption without the sentient beings um so it's not just talking about these states of just calming our mind with no kind of focus uh, with this kind of meditative absorption then without the sentient beings then that kind of meditative absorption can't arise so um so we shouldn't uh, take you know we shouldn't uh, in our practice uh, sort of just have uh, focused on a kind of something of much uh, lesser meaning but uh, 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 focus on the more vaster mind which takes into account the uh, limit limitless sentient beings um, although that's as, of course as i'll discuss is a little bit difficult and how we think about limited limitless sentient beings um there's an advice in terms of this there's an advice from the first dalai lama who was a uh, direct disciple of uh, lama sankarpa jay rimshi and uh, obviously an, an incredible master and um uh at around 60 years old uh which at that time you know 60 years old for us now is not uh, a very we don't think of it as a very grand age but in those days that was an uh, a long a long-lived person and with his white hair and uh, uh having a i mean uh, collected many students and obviously steeped in great practice uh, the students uh, said, well, you know, you've reached this advanced age, you have many students and uh, uh, you've worked very hard. Uh, so it would be good if you almost kind of, we think, you know, you, you, you should have the right to retire and be born in a kind of, pure, when you're born and when you pass away and uh, are born, it would be fine for you to be born in a pure land and apparently the from the autobiography of the first Dalai Lama, he was not a, a really he wasn't uh, sort of uh, very, very serious all the time. He wasn't non-serious, but he wasn't serious all the time. But when they said this, uh, uh, a serious face, uh, he, he showed them a serious face. And he said, in this lifetime, I have never once uh, prayed uh, to be born in a place like that. Um, my prayer is that for wherever... Uh, uh, there are sentient beings who need benefit and, and need help and benefit. Uh, I will be born in that. Uh, my prayer is to be born in that place for them. Um, uh, and, you know, so this is really this bodhicitta that really wishes that it's uh, oh, really OK, not OK if I don't uh, uh, attain enlightenment for the, the welfare of all sentient beings. So. Uh, and also one factor, that, as I mentioned before, the we, we always talk about the basis of being all sentient beings, limitless or all sentient beings, but how to do that. And it's very hard for us to get our minds around, to get a hold on uh, this sense of uh, all sentient beings. Um, but actually, uh, you know, the way perhaps to meditate and cultivate these understandings is in relation to uh, dividing all sentient beings into uh, those we consider to be our enemies, those we consider to be uh, close to us, our friends, and those who are kind of neutral in, in our eyes. And then all of the different vastness of sentient beings can be subsumed into that. And... Um, you know, particularly, uh, you know, obviously uh, looking at our attachment to uh, those who are our friends. And of course, the most difficult of these is, uh, and, and then in terms of the neutral people, the sort of uh, understanding that uh, looking at our attachment and why we're attached to our friends and, and, and uh, sort of considering the reasons for that. And then and these, because these are only temporary relationships in terms of someone who is neutral, at the moment, we don't... Uh, uh, sort of recognize them as uh, as being 
unknown to us, but uh, in in a longer perspective, they are related to us. And then, but of course, the most difficult of all is the is, is the enemy, uh, and uh, uh, and and the difficult and looking at the ways in which we have difficulty to generate compassion and gratitude towards someone who we uh, see to be our enemy. Um, uh, so I and then sort of and so then we can um, see that. Uh, Developing all of these, um, such as love and compassion, joy and equanimity, in relation to, uh, because the four immeasurables are speak about all sentient beings or in limitless sentient beings, and therefore developing that relationship into those, uh, th developing those, uh, depending on love, joy, compassion, and equanimity, and attaining the metas of equipoise relies, we have to take into account the sentient beings. They rely, they're based in. Our relationship with the sentient beings. So I think if we think about this in this way, this could be uh, very beneficial for us. You take a 15 minute break. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah.